Hi, my name is Cindy Blanchett. I'm a registered nurse. I'm part of the Cary Medical Team. And I'd like to talk to you today about blood pressure. Many people have blood pressure cuffs at home and are able to accomplish monitoring their blood pressure without going to the healthcare provider's office. Let's start by talking about what blood pressure is. Systolic pressure is when the heart muscle contracts, pumping oxygen-rich blood. This is the first sound that you hear when you're checking your blood pressure. Next is the diastolic pressure in the arteries that occurs when the heart rests between beats. This is recorded at the disappearance of the pulse, not at the last sound. It is important to know that in the U.S., nearly 47% of the population have hypertension. That is defined as a systolic blood pressure greater than 130 or a diastolic pressure greater than 80. Some people are treated with lifestyle modifications like diet and exercise. About 34 million Americans are treated with medication for hypertension. And out of that group, one out of four have their blood pressure under control. There are a few very important things to remember before taking a blood pressure. You should avoid caffeine, exercise, and smoking about one half hour before checking your blood pressure. And you should also empty your bladder. Find a comfortable chair with a backrest where you can rest your feet flat on the floor and quietly sit for five minutes before checking the blood pressure. Refrain from talking while doing your blood pressure. The brachial artery is found by taking two fingers and placing them here, which you'll feel the pulsation. You're going to line the arrow up of your cuff above one inch of the brachial pulse, and you're gonna inflate the cuff at 20 to 30 millimeters above the point where the pulse disappears. Wait about 15 seconds before releasing the valve deflate at two millimeters per second and listen for the pulse to start and then its disappearance. Those at risk for hypertension are our older population and those with a family history. Those are risk factors that are out of our control. Risk factors that are within our control are maintaining a healthy weight, maintaining a normal glucose if you're a diabetic, eating a healthy balanced diet, limiting our salt intake under a teaspoon a day, exercising daily, limiting alcohol intake, and managing your stress level. High blood pressure that continues out of control over a period of time can result in heart attacks, strokes, coronary artery disease damage, enlarged hearts, and heart failure. It is important to see your healthcare provider as scheduled. Keep a record of your blood pressures that you have recorded at home to take with you to your next appointment. If you note that your blood pressure is elevated, you should see your healthcare provider sooner. Prevention is the key.